Hello friends, my name is Nitish Raj and today we are going to study one of the dynamic programming problem that is ugly number problem. First of all, we need to know what is ugly number. Numbers whose only prime factors are 2, 3 or 5 is known as ugly numbers. Here, here are the few ugly numbers in order is 1, 2, 3 and so on. 1 is inclusive in this ugly number list. You can say that is uh, some exception. Now problem is to find the hundredth ugly number. What is the naive solution? Naive solution is we will set one counter and assign value 1 and we have some number n right and we will start incrementing this counter only if we found n is being ugly or not right so we will start iterating this n for we will start iterating n from 2 because n is equals to 1 already one ugly number we know that is a base case so for n is equals to 3 we will check whether this n is equals to 3 being ugly or not if it is ugly then we will increment this counter and then we again n plus plus so n will be increment so for n is equals to 4 we will check whether it is ugly or not for n is equal to 5 6 7 and so on so might be possible when we are checking let's say number 342 342 is ugly number but this is the 342 is the 52nd 342 is the 52nd ugliest number right so this n does not necessarily will be less than or equal to this 100 this 100 is only the counter of ugly number whereas we are increasing this n this n natural number is going increasing from 2 till we don't know till how far it will be go and for each number we are checking whether that number is ugly number or not if that counter reaches 100 we will break and we will print so how to check this number each number n whether it is ugly or not right so this is our question how to check ugliness of a number n in naive solution so it is a simple method you take this number and you start dividing this two till its remainder become not equal to zero so you start dividing 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 right whatever the number it comes whose remainder is not zero store in this n1 repeat this process for 3 divided by 3 also store in it n2 same for 5 and store it in n3 if this n3 the last one is a 1 then it is ugly let's check for 300 so we will follow this procedure 300 divided by 2 how much its remainder is 0 it's ok so again we will divide by 2 what its remainder is 0 ok good its remainder is 1 so what I said divide till its remainder not equal to 0 here remainder is not equal to 0 so we will store this number in n2 sorry n1 for the first time then this 75 we will start dividing by 3 remainder is 0 it's ok start dividing by 3 oh it will be not 25 is not divisible and the remainder is how much sorry uh, so we will not divide further we will store this number as n2 now what we will do we will check this 25 with 5 this is divided by 5 again 5 is divided by
भाई सो वी गॉट वन राइट सो वी कैन नोटिस रिमाइंडर इज नाउ जीरो राइट सो वॉट इज द फाइनल आउटपुट हियर इट इज स्टोर इट इन एन थ्री राइट सो दिस एन थ्री वी विल चेक वेदर इट इज इक्वल टू वन और नॉट येस इट इज इक्वल टू वन सो दिस थ्री हंड्रेड इज अगली नंबर राइट नो वॉट इज द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी फॉर दिस प्रोग्राम दिस विल बी डेफिनेटली ओ एन मल्टीप्लाई वट इज एन एन इज माई नंबर हुज अगलीनेस इज टू बी चेक राइट एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द हंड्रेड अगलियत नंबर सो लेट से दैट इज एम दिस एम इज नोन बिकॉज दिस इज यूजर इनपुट बट दिस इज नॉट नोन दिस विल बी वी डोंट नो हाउ फार इट विल गो राइट so approximately it will be very much higher so we should avoid this algorithm right so we will follow the dynamic approach so in dynamic programming approach we are following bottom up that we will try to fill up from the base position and we will start filling we know the first ugly number is 1 so we will write 1 then then we know 2 3 and 5 we need to check for the primeness so what is the minimum of these three minimum is 2 we will set a counter counter a counter b and counter c right so we will check for this minimum is 2 we will put 2 over here and we will increment this counter right next so these are a b c are the index of if we are taking the minimum from two's multiplication then we will increase this index of 2 we are denoting index is a for 2 3 for b and for 5 it's c so initially it was index 0 0 now this becomes 1 right so next time we will multiply this number with value of at this index so this number will multiply with the index this so 2 will be multiply at index 1 index 1 is 2 so next number is 4 3 is multiply with the index of 0 that is 1 this is multiply with the index 0 that is 5 what is the minimum now 3 a becomes here still 1 b becomes 1 because this is the pick up as a minimum c is still zero so b becomes one and three is set over here right again so now this will become how much three into index of one index of one that is index one index one is two so three multiplied by two Four, six, and five. What is the minimum here? Four. We'll put four here. Now, index is increased to two. A becomes two, and the number is now. A is equals to two means this index. Three will be multiplied with two. So three into two is how much? Six, six. It is five, right? B is equals to one. C is equals to zero. Now this six, six and five, which is the minimum five. 
and this becomes c equals to 1 right and c is equals to 1 so 1 index is this 2 2 into 5 is 10 now we have 6 6 and 10 which is the minimum pick up the any one so let's say we are picking this one a is equals to 3 b is equals to 1 c is equals to 1 a is equals to 3 so 3 is this one so 2 multiplied by 4 that is 8 now 8 6 10 which is the minimum this is the minimum so we will put 6 in this fashion we will going to fill all this and we will calculate the 100th ugliest number and what is the time complexity time complexity is surely out of n where n denotes this 100th user input next we will see code so this is the code for ugly number uh, we have defined here the minimum of a b and c we have typed there and signed as u now this is the method so we are creating a pointer to array of I mean teachers. We are allocating memory. Now we have defined three variables next two, next three and next five. And this for each of these two iteration is zero, zero and zero. We have taken variables which will keep record how many times this have been processed. Multiple of two have, have been processed. Now first ugly number as base case we know one. This is bottom up approach for dynamic programming so we started with the one and we have assigned this ugly number in this so ugly plus zero is the address for the first and we are taking we are dereferencing it so value is one since value is one and we are taking loop from one till n right aim is to find Hundred ugliest number, right? So we are iterating over n, and we are finding first minimum of this next. So that is two. So we will assign in this first pointer, first address, this value. Next we will check whether this next ugly number comes from next or next three or next five. If it is come from next two. Then, as I said, what uh, we will uh, increase, we will multiply this with the next location uh, with the uh, location value. So it will keep incrementing and it will keep filling this value. What is the time complexity for this? It is simply order n. And previous naive solution was order some big number into n which is definitely not good so this is good let's run this program now this is slow So, 100 ugliest number is 1536, right? Thank you. Have a nice day.